Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today we're going to be running through what we keep in the drawers. Um, we've got tools in one and we've got some other bits and bobs in the other, so I'll have a look through. Um, this is basically for people who are about to travel and wondering what tools to take, uh, if they need to fix anything on the road. And we've had a few experiences where we've needed to fix stuff on the road, so yeah, we'll run through what we've got. start off with what power tools we keep so we have a blower um, good to blow stuff with I suppose uh, we use it to heat the fire up or get it going a bit more and yeah just for general cleaning um, it's probably not necessary we probably don't need that but we, we thought it was a good idea next we have the drill uh, we do use this every day for setting up so to put the legs down on the camp trailer and also to uh, put the pegs into the ground so we've got screw type pegs. Next we have, I'll go through what, what um, basic tools I keep. So I've got a set of ratchet spanners. Uh, they're handy if you can't get a socket set into. Um, better, better than normal spanners. So would recommend a set of them over normal spanners. But I do keep a set of normal spanners as well. Um, that one there goes up to 32, so that has pretty much every size you'd need. Um, not that I probably need all of them, but yeah, it's just easy to carry them all in a packet. I've got a couple of socket sets. This one's a quarter inch drive, so again, probably don't need all of it, but um, that one there will work for you in a tighter area where you can't get a, a half inch drive socket set into. So that's why I keep that in there. And that one there is my half inch drive socket set. Um, that one has Imperial metric. I don't need the Imperial, but it's what I had before the trip. So that's what came along. So in terms of braking down on the side of the road, it's always important to keep some spares with you. I suppose this acts as a spare part. I've basically got a, a box full of nuts and bolts, uh, different sizes and different lengths. So we've, we had a, an alternator bolt snap and we didn't have the right size bolt, um, even out of all these ones I've got in here. So just times like that when you need spares. And I do need to bolt, bolt this up with a, bit, a few more different sizes, so uh, always handy to keep spare nuts and bolts. All right, we do have some spare belts. So there, I do have a, a um, complete spares box on top of the car. These ones are on hand because we were going through these nearly one every couple of months. Um, we had, like I said, we have an alternator issue. This was a knock-on effect from that. Um, the belts are just coming off, and tearing, and all that kind of stuff. So that's been fixed now. Um, they probably don't need to be in the drawer anymore, but they still were today. They might go on the roof. Going along with fixing stuff, we keep the. Um, the puncture repair kit in the back there as well. Never had to use one yet. We have, we did give it to someone on the road who needed it to have any, anything with it. We had this on us, so we gave it to him. But we haven't used it ourselves. But you need to take a tire repair kit just in case. We'll go with the with the three main things you need to take to fix anything. You got a hammer. WD-40 and some tape. They're the three main things you need to fix something. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Zip ties. You need zip ties as well. Got all that in that drawer handy. I do keep some drill bits there. 
just in case you need to fix anything. We probably use these more so on the camp trailer fixing small issues. Um, thought it'd be handy to take, so that's why that's there. So I've got a wide range of uh, screwdrivers. So I've got your normal Phillips head and flat head, and then I've got the smaller versions of them as well. Solar panels generally run the smaller ones, and you know you always find stuff that cut that these ones won't fit into. So these ones are a, a bit more not not necessarily needed, but I do keep them just in case. Um, they don't take up that much room. So I've got a rivet, a rivet gun. Um, I have used this a few times. We have a problem with the buttons on the camp trailer coming off, so we can fix it with a rivet gun. So that's why I keep it. So I've got some pliers or cutters, whatever you want to call them, uh, and some wire. So in an emergency, if something falls off, um, or an alternator bracket snaps or something like that, you can tie it up with the wire and then the cutters are just there to cut it off. So that's a handy piece of equipment as well. And some vice grips, not really necessary, but if you have a rounded bolt or you need to grab something and you can't get some pliers in there to twist it, once you lock them on, you'll be able to get it most of the time. And then I've got a couple of stuff for making a fire, so I've got a hatchet, and I've got a sharpening stone, I do have a saw, and a little cheap saw from Bunnings, um, when I'm too lazy to get the chainsaw out, and then I've got the stake, so that one there, I uh, just used to split the wood, make it easy for line fires and that kind of stuff, and then to start the fire, I use the like a butane gas with a blowtorch thing attachment on it. So that one there starts to fire really well, nice and easy. And some other little stuff I keep. I did have a power steering leak at some point, so that was in there. Again, I probably I don't need it anymore because I have fixed that issue. So that can go with the oils. Uh, I could just keep some some quick, easy to grab glue. Don't think I've used this yet, but if I ever need a bit of glue, that's in there. The last piece of the puzzle in there is really just this. So I've got a security tap key. Um, if there's ever a tap that has um, doesn't have a handle or a twist handle or whatever you want to call it, um, you can use this and that will get you your water out of the tap. Okay, so that was everything that was in that drawer, in my tool drawer. Um, it's, it won't work for everyone. Like You won't always need all of these tools. Um, this is just what we found on the trip works for us um, and in the times that we've needed it we've been able to fix fix our problems on the road and we haven't been stranded anywhere so yeah we've I can say we've used all of that stuff in there maybe not all the sockets and the spanners but um, yeah they've all come in handy and I'm glad we brought it all with us alright so next draw we'll have a look what's in here not as messy in this one. There's a bit more, bit more organisation in here. So I keep fishing gear in here. So I've got a box of lures and soft plastics in there. Haven't fished in a while. Keen to try these ones out again. We got a little fish measuring stick and just a basic tackle box there. Uh, we also keep the drone in here. Um, the drone is still in its original box and was a pain to put every, put somewhere in the car. Uh, it always got squished and the other thing is you don't want anyone knowing that there's a drone sitting in there which is reasonably expensive in sight so I found that putting it in the drawers worked in two ways so we've got the drone there and a spare battery. Um, we do have in here a couple of sand pegs some big sand pegs. Um, haven't really needed to use them that much. I suppose when we go to the beach um, and we want to chuck the awning out, I suppose that's why they're in there. And then we've just got some recovery gear um, down the back. We've never used. Oh, we have used some of this stuff. Not not a great deal. We've got a winch blanket and winch block. 
and then the rest of the recovery gear is in this bag. So I've got tree, tree protector, sat strap, um, tow, tow hitch recovery point, and I think that's about it. So yeah, that's all we've got in that drawer, and then we've just got the winch controller as well. But it's a wireless remote normally, so we've got that in the car, and that's if we run out of batteries. Okay, so that was everything in that second drawer. We mainly use it for storage. We don't need everything in there, but it's, yeah. Like, like with the tools, you probably need them on the road. You don't need everything in there. Um, recovery equipment wise, I would recommend that as a kind of starting kit. Unless you, unless you don't have a winch, you're not gonna need a few of them items. Um, but most of that stuff you will need. And yeah, that was, it's just storage for stuff that we want hidden away. Alright, so yeah, thanks for watching this video. Hopefully this will help you out if you're about to start traveling and you're wondering what tools and what, what to take. Um, and yeah, if, if it's helped you, give us a like and give us a subscribe as well. Thank you. It's a bit dusty the screen.